Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about the second divorce to rock the D&D &D community, in my humble opinion. So what was the first uh, divorce to rock the Dungeons & Dragons uh, community? Well, it was Gary's divorce. Um, so basically, if you go, Dave Thalmavore did this video, and he said, um, and he, I think he was talking about Ben Riggs' book when he said this, but he was said that essentially... Gary Gygax went to Hollywood. He got the 1983 uh, Saturday morning cartoon deal. And that's no small thing. I, I honestly believe that Saturday morning cartoon, Dungeons and Dragons cartoon changed America fundamentally. I actually think it's one of the reasons why President Obama, it's pr the primary reason President Obama was elected was the 1983 Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Uh, it had uh, many other uh, impacts, but and, and it certainly carried Dungeons and Dragons to the world literally and today it's much beloved right and it's literally and the 1983 done and it's completely relevant it just showed up in a block in a 200 million dollar blockbuster last year like it's you know so it, its ramifications are still being felt today all right let's get all the way there so gary he got that done but he he also got something else done which was pick up a very bad habit which made him lose complete control of himself and when he returned uh, you know, to Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, from Hollywood in in nineteen uh, in in the nineteen in the mid nineteen eighties, he had lost completely control complete control of himself, and because he couldn't control himself, he certainly couldn't control Dungeons and Dragons creatively or commercially the way he had done for twelve years, and that's why he lost it, in my humble opinion. All right, so, and then he got divorced. He got his first divorce, right? Like, and and I think like if you lose control of yourself and you have no ability to control yourself because you have this horrible habit, right? That makes you lose control of yourself. I think that's gonna to lead to a divorce pretty logically, right? So in my humble opinion, the the Hollywood trip uh, lost Gary Gygax, Dungeons and Dragons, and lost him his wife, right? So that was the first divorce to really rock the Dungeons and Dragons community. What is the second one? Joe Manganiola and Sofia Vergara, right? And we used to be, hey, we used to say this, Hey, you think Dungeons and Dragons ain't cool? Check out Joe Manganiola. That dude's ripped, and he's got a beautiful wife who loves him and loves his two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollar Dungeons and Dragons dungeon in the bottom of his home. Didn't work. <laughs> you can't be like, you can't be a Dungeons and Dragons dude who spent. You know, like people are like. You Dungeons and Dragons dorks, man. No attractive person's ever gonna want to hang out with a Dungeons and Dragons dork. Point to them. <laughs> like, it didn't work. <laughs> like, yeah, like Sofia Vergara divorced uh, Joe Manganiola. Just divorced him, and it only lasted like I think it was like I think it barely was six years, right? Like it wasn't long, right? So that's very sad, and um, uh, and we don't. I don't think. I definitely think. Duns, without a doubt, Dungeons and Dragons, in my humble opinion, without a doubt, Dungeons and Dragons was the sole reason that Gary Gygax got divorced, in, uh, got his first divorce in the late 80s, right? Um, but the reality is, um, we're not, we're not, so I don't think there's evidence to prove that Dungeons and Dragons caused the divorce between Sophia, Sophia Vergara and Joe Manganiola, but I think it did, uh, in my humble opinion. W why do I think that? Well, like it, I don't think it was like they were matched from an attractiveness perspective like both people are nines you know like like I don't think that was the issue they both had all the money in the world they had they had every single thing would have made them happy I think the only the only real problem in Sofia Vergara's life was when she went downstairs she was like what the heck is this why there's a dragon head on the wall and everybody was like oh this is gonna work out fine and I'm like nah like and to be clear, uh, I think most spouses, most most people who have a spouse, they are very careful to limit their. I am very careful, right? I would love to run. I would run three Dungeons and Dragons campaigns a week if I, you know, if I wasn't married. I'm married. I want to stay married, right? I, I keep it maxed at one a week, right? Like I run one Dungeons and Dragons campaign a week. That's it, done, right? Like I don't really go over that, right? And, um, and I'm very aware that Dungeons and Dragons will not help me keep my marriage together. Like, I, you know, I need to make sure that I am, you know, dating my spouse and treating my spouse in great ways. Because 
I do not, I actually think Dungeons and Dragons is not an attractor in any way for any spouse, right? Nobody cares about, no spouses care about the your Dungeons and Dragons collection. Trust and believe. In fact, you gotta realize that Dungeons and Dragons is almost certainly a detractor from you keeping a strong uh, a strong marital relationship, right? Like, and I think Joe Gavang and Yola just found that out, in my humble opinion. Every single word you just heard was my humble opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. What do you think was the issue? Do you think that Duns and Dragons, and there, by the way, I'm not just rolling up on Joe Maganiola just talking about his, his marriage. He's a celebrity, and frankly, he is the number one Duns and Dragons celebrity today outside of everybody who was in the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. And he has actually sacrificed. He's a celebrity who has sacrificed our Dungeons and Dragons. So one, my condolences to Joe Manganiel. I think this is very sad. I do think Dungeons and Dragons was absolutely a part of the reason why he lost his wife. Um, and I think, and I'm very sad for him for that. That is extremely sad, right? But I, but as a D&D community, you know, Dun Joe Manganiola is an extremely prominent member of that community who is impacting what we get every day, in my humble opinion, as a D and D community. So I just wanted to take a moment and say, and I'm saying this rocked us from a moment of sadness and sorrow. All of us are sad about this and didn't want to see this happen. That's my take on what happened between Sofia Vergara and Dungeons and Dragons celebrity, Joe Manganiola. By the way, I'm going to prompt, I'm going to prompt you. The, his best work was done in Metal Lords. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's incredible. It's right over on Netflix. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. What's important is when I hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking, subscribing, and have a fetch millennium.